Snest Snest Drunk. Drunk. Hello and welcome to the finale of Snest Drunk Plays Mega Man X3, or uh, I mean X2. I'm really tired. <laughs> and this is the finale because it says finale in the title, and you clicked on it, and you're watching it. So, yeah, we're going to beat Zero. We're going to beat uh, Sigma. Uh, he has two forms, just like the first game. And uh, we're going to do this. Let's do this. Um, yeah, I, I obviously went back and filled up all the tanks and grinded and all that stuff. I didn't get any extra heart tanks. I don't even know where the other ones are, to be honest with you. But all four uh, sub tanks are filled up. So let's do this. Oh, and an extra life. Oops, I'm sorry. I mean a free guy. That's the my own personal vernacular that I use since I am a Nintendo kid. Um, wow, I've really talked about anything and everything on this on this Let's Play series. It's pretty weird. Wow, I botched that completely. But started out, I think I was talking about uh, the time I, I tried cocaine, which was really awful. The time I, I tried, uh, or the time I uh, ate a pot cookie, which was really, really bad. And the time I did LSD, which was the worst ever. So this was this whole playlist has been one big... Uh, God, nice going. Facing the wrong fucking way. Ah. This whole playlist has been one big just say no to winners don't use drugs kind of a thing. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Gotta concentrate. No time to talk. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. I'm still gonna need a sub tank. I feel like I'm doing well, but I s I'm still getting my ass kicked. Jeez. Sigma's easier than this. He really is. Especially his final form. Sigma's final form is a joke. Oh, Jesus. Alright, time for a sub tank. Damn. I also talk about. A dumb, dumb ideas like my Batman Mega Man 60s TV show idea that went on for a few episodes, I think. I think it was that. Yeah, that was earlier tonight. This is all starting to blend together in my head. Just rambling about stuff to nobody, just to me. I feel like I'm doing a radio show with like no audience or whatever. All right, there we go. Got him. And conveniently, Zero regains his memory or whatever. Yeah, I guess so. Aren't you Jeff Goldblum? Weren't you in The Fly? Weren't you in Jurassic Park? Yeah, take care of yourself. You got a, a smoking problem there. You might want to get a fire extinguisher or oil up those joints or something like that. How do you do that? Okay. Alright, well here we go with Sigma. Hey, why can, can I go this way? Let me go with you. Screw Sigma. And we jump down forever and ever and ever until he dies. Nah, he's fine. But now we have uh, Sigma. Now who, what actor would play Sigma in the cheesy TV series? <laughs> what accomplished actor could you imagine being so uh, uh, delivering those lines with such gusto? Maybe William Shatner. Yeah. Maybe James Spader, since he's got the bald thing going on. Isn't James Spader do the voice of uh, Ultron in the upcoming Avengers movie? So I guess that could work. James James Spader does a lot of TV. You you wouldn't say no to that. Gonna need a what do you call it? Just in time. Just as I'm. 
bouncing off the wall. Not doing too well here. Just dash along the along the floor. Let the Sonic Slicer do its work. There we go. See, I think Sigma is a lot tougher in the first game. And he wasn't even that tough in the first game. Um, in X3, Sigma is ridiculously hard because his hitbox is the size of a thimble. Ugh, terrible. There we go. There we go. That was nicely done for once. Oh, look out. Those actually do a shitload of damage. Let him get these out of his system. Ah. Nice. All right. Oh, dash failed me at the last second. There we go. All right, now we're on to the last Sigma form. This is actually a really cool touch storyline wise and it is come on a very nice use of the extra chip that this game has that made it so expensive back in the day i think this game costs like 70 dollars and you want to use a strike chain against it and you seriously just want to fucking go to town and and just take the damage and ignore all this stuff i guess i'll use a sub tank here but it will change colors according to how much damage you're doing to it. And really, you get power-ups from the things, from the extra enemies it drops. Or at, sometimes. <laughs> I haven't gotten one yet, but... It's like, this is too easy. I'm sorry. See, I just grabbed extra life there. And I'm doing a number on him. He's already purple. I think he turns red. Yeah, he's orange and then red. And I got more life. I mean, a final boss fight should feel exhilarating. And like, holy shit. See, it's... I am getting my ass kicked, but I don't even care. Because... There. Now he's in his final attack thing. And you just hammer on him. The thing is, is that he doesn't have a life... Uh, he doesn't have a life. <laughs> he doesn't have a... A life meter, so... Really, it's just you have to hit him a few times with. I'm almost there. I know it. You have to charge to get out of this. And there you go. He's dead. Like, come on. How underwhelming is that? It's a cool idea for a boss visually. And the final music is cool. It's cool enough. It's just you got to do better than that game. Zero was, was more interesting than that. And the first Sigma form was more interesting than that. You gotta do better. I have lost you again. This seems to be a recurring theme. Oh, okay, right. The hell does that mean? Oh, I know what that means. It means... I actually put the microphone in my mouth to make that sound. And so we have the end of Mega Man X2. Lots and lots of explosions, as you could very well imagine. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of a Mega Man game without copious amounts of fireworks and stuff. And now we have a reflective theme as yeah, two two staples in the Mega Man universe when it comes to game endings. There's lots of explosions and lots of gazing off into the distance. As Zero, now joined by his life partner Mega Man, gaze off into the horizon. I, yeah, I, I said that. You don't need to say it again, game. Oh, into the sea. I'm sorry. The mega sea. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh. I'm tired. It's late. I think it's about 3.30 in the morning. 
Dr. Light's dream of a world in which Reploids, they are Reploids. Okay, I was right. Merely a dream. Was it a wet dream? <laughs> God, I am punchy. I sound like... My mind has turned into Beavis. Who or what must be sacrificed for it to become reality? Is this like a Terminator 2 kind of a thing that they're getting at here? Where it's like, there's one chip left. Like points at his own head. And he does the tragic thumbs up dip into the molten steel. Or cupcakes. Or donuts. Or pretzels. Or mustaches. Or, or what? Or, or cars? Or... <laughs> and roll credits. Mega Man decides to go for a cruise on... Overdrive Ostrich's level for some reason. I guess he likes the scenery. It is some nice scenery. And that, see, this is cool idea. This is a cool idea here where the game lists the names of all the enemies that Mega Man made explode, but you need to do like Super Mario World and show each one. Like, I don't know what a Garankula robot is or a, a Beatron or a all right, last star. You gotta show me what it is. Don't just give me the name. That's not cool. Show me the difference between a blecker and a barrier attacker. <laughs> or what the hell is a ride chaser? A do T40 turbo? Two 400 turbo? Come on. I like <laughs> Disc Boy 08. <laughs> As opposed to the first seven Disc Boys. Don't want to get those confused. I mean, this this ending feels half-assed. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. We've got the bosses with... Uh, what's RP? Like, Reploid Power? I do like that touch. I like, I like the statistics thing. I wish it gave, like, height and weight, though, instead of power and speed. Like, Magna Centipede is two tons or something like that. Because they're made out of titanium or whatever and uh, yeah they had like height width Sergis is a big fat ass <laughs> you know I just noticed the uh, the overdrive ostrich road that Mega Man is traveling on there actually has overhead lighting for you know when it's night and you want to drive on the road in your motorcycle the road is lit up that's very very nicely done by uh, whoever designed that. Uh. See, I always assume like these these are evil people designing these uh, levels. Anyway, uh, that's it. There's a nice, polite thank you from Capcom for playing. And I want to thank you, the audience, for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your life, for that matter.